it wasn't an easy journey for us to get here. It was a very hard journey. More than 7,000 Afghan refugees found a safe haven at Camp Atterbury under Operation Allies Welcome. They left their home country when U.S. troops left and the Taliban took over. Now one family sitting down with me to share their experience for the first time about what they faced to get to Indiana, what they left behind in Afghanistan, and the price they paid from war. Welcome to the Hoshman family apartment. Inside you'll meet father Amal Hoshman and mother Najia Shirzad Hoshman. It's more hard with the kids. <laughs> and they're three kids who are nine, eight, and two years old. Like any family, the kids play, the parents work, and they all eat together. So this is called palau. These dishes represent the closest they get now to their home they left in Afghanistan. Najia says they left with only five minutes warning to get to the airport. It's really hard to leave everything behind and you have no chance even to look back um, what what you have left behind with only three hundred dollars in their pocket the clothes on their backs and their kids by their side Najia's brother got 19 of her family members on the list of Afghan refugees to fly to America he worked for the US Embassy Najia worked for the US and European allies mainly in banking she described the exit as chaos. Very huge crowd, yeah. Nobody, nobody was letting anyone to to pass them. We were sitting on the on the on the ground, on the rocks, on the sand with kids, no food, no water. Thousands of people pushed through the airport, shoving Najia to the ground, breaking her ribs. I felt the pain, but I didn't notice the pain because I was still so busy at the airport. The Taliban takeover forever changed the country Najia loved. It wasn't home. It wasn't home anymore, so. It became a place of suicide bombings, death threats, and funerals for her husband's TV station work friends. Heavy hearted, the Hoshman family took five flights, finally landing in Indiana. We were very happy, finally relieved. Along the way, Najia used her 19 years of work experience and English skills to translate between the military and Afghan refugees. While at Camp Atterbury, she represented a building of more than 128 refugees. With her family resettled in Indy, Najia's master's degree in experience with banks earned her a spot in the mayor's office in the Treasury Department. While off the I'm clock, she tirelessly rebuilds her family's <laughs> life from scratch, feeling lucky to have survived and grateful for what they have now as Hoosiers who paid the immense cost of war. We have a lot of dreams. We have a lot of hope in this country. We want to be a good citizen here. We want to have a good life here. And we would love to be Afghan Americans one day. We are looking forward to that. Najia says she feels grateful for the support of resettlement organizations for all refugees for about 90 days. She also says that all Afghan refugees that are in America under the humanitarian parole. So she hopes the Afghan Adjustment Act moves forward to provide a pathway to legal, permanent U.S. citizenship.